Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about one of the interesting topics called design patterns. So here we are going to actually compare and contrast between two design patterns uh, which are which looks quite similar but their intention is totally different. Therefore, one of the design patterns pattern falls under behavioral pattern and the other one falls under structural pattern. Uh, therefore, we will just try to see their differences with the help of a UML diagram. We are going to discuss today the differences between a uh, bridge pattern versus strategy pattern strategy pattern today we are going to see how they are different so uh, even though the UML diagram looks quite similar, uh, there is a difference between these two patterns. The bridge pattern falls under uh, structural pattern and strategy pattern falls under the behavioral pattern. Therefore, we will first discuss about bridge pattern and then go to the strategy pattern before coming to the bridge pattern we can draw a uml diagram for the bridge pattern for bridge pattern we might have already uh, know what a bridge pattern is bridge pattern maintains two parallel hierarchies therefore if you want to have two parallel hierarchies in a uml diagram we will have one abstraction therefore there will be an abstract context which is there and there will be sub classes which will derive from this abstract context called it will be context one called context one and there will be another context called context two c2 i'm just naming it as c2 therefore these two guys will implement or derive from this particular um, abstraction so we will use the implementation extends where we have to use the extends part um, this. since this is an abstract abstract class we have to use the extends not the implements part implements arrow so we have to go for this implement part implement arrow when we are deriving from an interface when we are implementing an inter interface we can go with the implements implementation arrow yeah this is the one part of the hierarchy and the other part we will have an abstraction an interface which will be some other context say i some other context therefore there will be some class which will be implementing this particular interface therefore, if we just try to see their relationship it will be sc1 and C2. C2. Therefore, we will use the implementation arrow for this guy. As you can see, the two contexts implement from this interface and whenever this particular guy, whenever the C1 or C2 wants to make use of SC1 or SC2, it goes via this interface or abstraction, not directly. It will not try to create an inst a direct instance of SC1 and SC2. Rather, it depends upon this interface uh, uh, to 
invoke some functionalities of SC1 or SC2. So how it does is the abstract context through abstract context it tries to uh, use that interface it will be an aggregation relationship basically therefore we can mark it as an uh, aggregation relationship so what is this aggregation yes so aggregation relationship we can mark it as for this will cannot be used and on this particular guy will be a data member of this particular uh, inside this particular class either c1 or c2 either in the abstract context it can be data member in that particular class and through this particular guy and through this particular interface it tries to access the uh, methods or whatever the facilities whatever the functionalities provided by exposed by sc1 and sc2 so as you can see this actually forms a structure a bridge structure therefore there are two parallel hierarchies this is a hierarchy one and this will be the hierarchy two for these two parallel hierarchies are connected via this particular relationship so it is connected via this particular relationship therefore this actually links the two hierarchies together therefore this actually forms a bridge so this is why this is pattern comes under the structural pattern and this is termed as a bridge pattern where two hierarchies can extend independently there will be no coupling between the two hierarchies and during the runtime each of the hierarchy components sub components decides which other component to use belonging to the other hierarchy so it is totally mutually independent so now coming to the strategy pattern just scrolling below we can have an interface uh, let let this be a client and we can have one interface called i strategy strategy and we can have classes deriving or implementing this interface called start strategy one strategy one and strat strategy two therefore there can be two implementation of this particular interface strategy one and strategy two therefore we can use that uh, implementation arrow now in this particular use case where it is trying to implement this strategy and where this particular guy strategy 2 is trying to implement this particular uh, interface the same interface as strategy 1 therefore both of these classes are implementing the same interface and this is a client uh, which tries to use some short, sort of strategy during the runtime therefore client chooses the strategy at runtime whether be it strategy 1 or strategy 2 therefore how it does is it client actually depends upon i strategy so there will be a composition relationship between these two guys whereas this i client depends upon this abstraction i strategy to invoke functionalities exposed by this particular interface and during the runtime, the appropriate strategy is dependency injected into this client and accordingly strategy 1 function or strategy 2 function will be invoked. And this is what is known as strategy pattern. And this comes under behavioral class of patterns.
therefore this is called strategy therefore if we compare the strategy pattern and the bridge pattern we could see similarities between them for example this particular hierarchy let me just try to bring both of them in the same page here therefore as you can see that uh, this hierarchy this particular hierarchy which is now highlighted which is now highlighted and this hierarchy which is now highlighted are both similar are both one at the same and if we just focus on the left hand side of the hierarchy we have only one app one concrete client which is trying to use a particular strategy not an abstract client or a multiple implementation or multiple versions of client is not there only one client is there which is trying to use a particular strategy during the runtime whereas if you see here in the bridge side we have an abstract context or abstract client and there will be multiple concrete clients which will be instantiated at runtime and it will decide based on some parameters appropriate strategy from the right hand side therefore if you can see here the client is pretty simplified only one concrete client is there whereas in the bridge scenario we can have an abstract client and we can have multiple versions of a particular client present in an application therefore we can see that we can just say that this bit bridge pattern is actually an extension of strategy pattern wherein the client uh, which is which is a concrete instance in strategy pattern is generalized as an abstract client which implements which is implemented by multiple clients multiple sub clients which depends upon the abstraction abstraction of the some other hierarchy or the parallel hierarchy as you can see this is uh, or in other words we can say that the strategy pattern is a simplified version of this bridge pattern wherein this particular left hand side hierarchy is absent instead of that only one concrete client is present and the right hand side there is no change the right hand side remains the same so that's the major difference that we can find between these two patterns therefore if you mark this particular guy which we have discussed this will be the bridge pattern so i guess now it is more or less clear why it is called a bridge pattern and what is the uh, difference exact difference between a bridge pattern and a strategy pattern a bridge pattern can be a gen is can be broadly termed as a generalized version of a strategy pattern while a uh, strategy pattern can be termed as a simplified version, version of the bridge pattern broadly say but these two falls under different uh, design pattern category in itself so we do, we don't have to bother much about in which category a particular pattern falls in the main focus should be we have to understand in which context a particular pattern should be used that's the main intention of knowing a pattern in depth not too much bothered about which which particular category a particular pattern falls should actually uh, go from the ground up we should actually study the pattern in depth try to compare and contrast between different patterns and then try to figure out in which category it falls rather than going from the top to bottom so that would be much in the longer run that would actually make much more sense it will be much more helpful so i guess this particular uh, short video was particularly helpful in understanding these two patterns compare and contrast between these two patterns is somewhat helpful i guess therefore if you find it helpful do please 
शेयर विथ योर फ्रेंड्स एंड प्रेस ऑन द बेल आइकन एंड सब्सक्राइब टू दिस चैनल सो दैट यू कैन गेट नोटिफिकेशंस नोटिफिकेशंस टू द वीडियोस व्हिच आई एम गोइंग टू क्रिएट सो थैंक्स ऑल फॉर जॉइनिंग इन हैव अ नाइस डे